almost put the tripod on a cat's booty. Huh. Blue. Anyway, I am trying to pick up the house. It has been a crazy few days. And I'm tired and I'm over it. And I just want to go to bed. But that's not going to happen because there's so much to do. Um, been trying... Oh, trying to pick up knitting but it is killing my shoulder so I don't know how well that's gonna go over hi baggy um, just getting stuff taken care of pittering around today Anthony had this potluck at work so I had to make um, like and I don't think Mexican rice and so I knocked that out, took it to him. But thank God Xander said something I had forgotten because Anthony told me last night and I'd already forgotten. Now, last night there was a pretty horrific accident here in town. Um, like uh, the car was split in two and so it was scary and then you know, we live in such a small town, like everybody knows who this person is, except for the one that hit him, which I hear is on purpose. I don't know. It just, the whole thing, it just scares me. Like, I don't see anything worth being that angry, but that goes into Joni and I's story the other day. Had to go to Walmart and never hidden the fact that I am unable to wear a mask so I don't go out often um, and so I had to go out we needed milk there was no getting around it it wasn't like hey I want to go out for you know shits and giggles um, so I um, went out and we're coming out step on the threshold of being outside of Walmart you know the doors uh, step on that line and there's an an older lady behind us Joni uh, she said something Joni turned and looked making sure everything was okay and uh, she smiled at her and walked out and this woman and I kind of hear her with me being partially deaf wasn't quite sure what was being said <laughs> but I was pretty sure I knew bits and pieces of it. I'm trying to decide if I wanted to start another load right now. Um, so, I don't know why I looked at it and won't show me the time right now. Because I have my watch switched off. Um, anyway, so, I'm like catching little bits of it and I'm choosing to ignore it. Um, whole thing almost fell. Anyway, um, so I guess from what Joni caught, she said, told her husband stay away, they don't have a mask on. And then she's like hollering. Um, I did catch her kind of talking to the worker, because I don't know about everybody's Walmart, but ours has someone standing outside of it, and it's to take like a head count because we are in that realm of um, normalcy making sure there's not too many people per square foot or something I'm not I'm not gonna pretend like I understand it all or necessarily the reason you kind it but I understand you know mass quantity of people equal can equal out to a bigger issue. So she's hollering at him to never let us in is what I think I heard. Joni said it just said something to that sort. Um, the guy said, well, one, they're outside of the store. There is nothing we can do because it isn't a law. Um, it is recommended and 
that is fine. That's why I limit mine. I have tried. Anthony has a gator and um, the gator is still too much for me. But I have put it on. I have tried. I've tried other ones. I don't think there's a point in there's one that is I could put it over my full face and see through it. I still can't have it on my face. It still freaks me out. Hold on. Okay. Is it on? Okay, it is on. Um, anyway, so we're walking out. Um, not that I have broadcasted it. I don't have the handicap placard anymore. And so we are parked just on the other side of the handicap uh, in the first regular one. And so we walk out there. No big hurry. No pep in the step. I kind of still hear the commotion going behind me. Uh, I'm ignoring it. I'm, for once in my life, not having a freak out. And I have had that. Um, my anxiety is really bad. They tried to get me to wear one of the masks that goes across your forehead and is like a shield. Whoo! Nope. Um, I, some stupid reason. I think my head tells me, and it needs to shut up if it's listening right now, that everybody's looking at me and staring at me, and I cannot handle that. I am not one of those people who are <laughs> loud and look at me. Um, my husband is. I am not. When he does it, it makes me uncomfortable. I have friends who are like that, and... It's hard for me to go into places with people like that. Like, I have a friend who, uh, she was able to kind of get over the whole mask thing. Um, and she is able, as long as her nose isn't covered, she's okay. Um, but she has tried and can do it a little better now. <laughs> um. I said, and she goes, she said something, and I was like, there's a mask here if you want it, because it's not my body, it's not my choice, and if she wants to, and if she is able to, but I'm not going to go, to go to the store with me, you have to. Um, I also don't surround my people, my people, myself with other people either, so I'm not like, let's have a party though, I'm like can't wear a mask kind of keep your distance from my house so um we're walking out to the parking lot and um we get out there and I and like I said I still hear the commotion and the babies are asleep and I'm just ignoring it I'm walking having no problem I'm like I'm doing this get this stuff in the uh Get the stuff out of the cart, put it in the back seat, and we're going to head home. Uh, that, that commotion that was going on behind me is getting a little louder. And then what triggered me is I heard Joni's voice. And so I looked up. And I'm on the other side of the car because I had pulled forward so I could just take it off. So this woman is closer to Joni than I am. Um than me or I don't speak good English so um, she goes and I do hear this clear as day how do you get away with not wearing a mask there's a little bit of attitude Joni thought she was genuinely asking and she said we both have doctor's notes um, stating not to wear one she goes well then how does that help me the attitude is much bigger at this point and I can't exactly repeat what Joni said but she went then don't go to the beep store and I went still not having anxiety not worrying just going just and I've never had this happen um, I had one with uh, the worker at the store tried to lie um, and say it was like put into law. He was a liar. 
obviously because it's just a mandate but still um that is as close as i got to a situation like this Joni says she's had it happen several times um and she gets more harassment from workers than she does run of the mill mind you i had bought some yarn while we were in there we were out of milk just you know random things with three kids in the house 24 7 cereal is their go-to there's no prep no cook no weight cereal milk bowl spoon you know you get to eat so milk is something that we really have to keep on hand and i was like well i want to get into knitting i've got nothing else to do it's better than sitting around and just not like not doing any no, nothing pretty much and i do clean during the day some days i've been trying to be more um mindful of myself and my health uh and wellness and trying to decide you know what's important to me what needs to be done and sometimes you know what cleaning isn't necessary the house isn't filthy it isn't overran it's overran with cats right now that's a different story yes we have nine no six seven eight we have nine anyway moving on so um yeah uh so she approaches the car i was like that kind of defeats the purpose if you think that we are gonna infect you i won't go to the store with a runny nose if i have a tickle in my throat i will not go to the store if i have a migraine i won't go to the store because well i don't want to function if i have a headache i don't go if i just generally feel off i'm not gonna go just in case you know it hasn't been anything i haven't contracted uh the stuff but you know weather change i got a runny nose well guess what until that runny nose stopped we weren't going to the store i was um able to do without for longer than necessary we did go out without milk um for a little while but our safeway here in town finally does delivery and so there were a couple of times i was able to like have it delivered in and um so that helped quite a bit until i felt that it was a better scenario for me to go like the other day i literally choked on my own spit i am special sometimes and <laughs> coughed and was so embarrassed i was like and in my head i went god i wish i could just fart to cover so i could just cough because it's one of those you choke on spit you need to like cough to get like <clears throat> how you you just need to clear your throat to feel better and i was just like did i just really think i need to fart just so i can cough and clear my throat because i i was like i felt like i was choking and i just had to let it out and so um nobody batted an eye nobody looked at me it was the one time but for me i think that's safe just in case i like i said i'm not around a lot of people and so i'm around one person other than mom so um it's not like I'm exposed to a lot of people, but Anthony works for in for in the medical field, so he is exposed. And so, um, so she walks away. Joni says what she says. We get into the car, and so we're here. She's over here in the very first handicap stall, so she's closest to the store. Her husband gets in. Poor old guy. She's like bossing him around. Uh they had to been 70s 80s um he looked really frail and um i close the back door after i put in the groceries i get in the car seat and i was like oh i gave the cart to the guy 
uh, working for Walmart and he's like, ooh, can I take it, you know, COVID? And I was like, these, you know, just everybody has an opinion. It's unfortunate. He goes, good for you not wearing it. I was like, I don't wear it. I don't not wear it for my health. I do not wear it for my health. Um, <laughs> I was like, I, I don't not wear it to be rude to anyone. I just, unfortunately, it is the life I was dealt. I've been through some stuff. I've had a blanket put over me and punched. It's not a, a one-time incident. It has happened multiple times. So I can't have anything over my face. Some days my glasses drive me nuts. Like if they're dirty, I will fling them across the room because it makes my skin crawl. I don't know how else to explain it, but it is what it is. And he was really nice. He goes, have a good day. I was like, you too. And so I, like I said, I'm forward. There's a space behind me so I can go straight out. So I go straight out towards the store. She backs up from hers. Joni puts her arm out, um, gives her a thumbs up. Uh... And so she does one of these. So she has now gone out into traffic to follow us very closely and give us two thumbs up also. And I look up and I was like, this woman is acting awful. And then I went, Joni, we don't stoop to bad people's levels. We don't engage with people who are being irate. She goes, well, it's too late now. And so this woman, thumbs up, drives down one aisle, we drive down the next one. She flies down it and I'm like, oh my goodness, she's gonna hurt someone because she's angry. But she was like right on our bumper. If I had to stop quick, we would have been rear-ended. And all because she was raging and we had an accident yesterday that was due to rage and it snapped the car in half and ended up killing someone and i just don't get being that angry that you can't control your emotions and want to hurt someone else and we had two families affected by this and my kids Kyle being included knew the woman's grandson like he now lives without his grandmother because someone wanted to be careless and it's just it's sad and it's unfortunate and just remember that just because someone's having a bad day don't let them affect you and if you're in a bad mood just trying to think of why you're in that bad mood and is it worth it and is it worth hurting someone else or maybe yourself you know that's the only thing I can take away from my incident incident and then what happened yesterday because I never want to be I, I never want to be the reason someone else got hurt so I really need to clean and I don't want to there's some of my yarn. I went. Okay. I knew the battery was eventually going to die. They're still dying really quick. Anyway, I wanted to show you my yarn really quick. Just the top. Nothing special. And some of this is from storage. And let me see. Do I have one? This one's made. I have been making beanies. So, I'm staying busy, I'm keeping busy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the knitting is really affecting my shoulder to the point where I cried myself to sleep the other night. Real talk. Um, it is what it is. There wasn't much I could do about it. Um, I have tendonitis in my, <laughs> in my right elbow and shoulder. I was like, well, that's nice. I'm falling apart at 40. 
just turned 40 and now it's like, mm, warranty has expired, fall apart. Anyway, so now that I've talked your ear off, I'm gonna go. I am probably gonna sit down, edit this, watch some TV, take a break. I'm not on dishes today, but I am trying to get all of the dirty dishes into the sink and sink area so dad's on it. Um, that way he can do them, he's not searching around. And then I'm going to go get on my other two about their chores because the trash is overflowing. Lux is doing a little better. She is now taken to my tend unit, which is fine. Um, <laughs> funny enough, I kind of needed it the other day. I tried to blow out my knee. Um, I moved the kneecap, it popped back into place, and it was so fat and swollen. I barely could take a walk. I was like, like, walk around the house. Not like, woo, let's take a walk around the corner. Anyway, um, I was like, oh, I so could use that on my knee right now. But she's got it, and someone borrowed my tinge unit. My other one didn't return it, so I need to contact them and uh, see if I can get that back because it would be good to have. And I have a third one somewhere, but it is a completely flat, non-moving, you put pads on it, it's flat up against your back, it's not really good for anywhere else. So, it is what it is, but she needs it right now. She's supposed to start trying ice and then heat, and no more work for a little while. Um, I think they said three weeks, and so we'll see from there. Anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you for listening to me rant. I love you guys. Bye.